Okay, so uh, we continue with uh, the lessons on uh, dimensional analysis and uh, we are solving uh, a particular question uh, uh, and hope uh, it will be very helpful uh, when I solve this question. So for this one, I'll try to be a little bit slow so that you'll be able to get uh, everything that uh, uh, I'll be teaching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, uh, inbox me on whatsapp i think i put the line uh, in the first video or i'll be able to show you my line that is on whatsapp and hope you'll be able to inbox so that at least you get to interact so there's a question here we are asked to prove whether this thing here is dimensionally uh, consistent if it's correct but then in the first place i think i told you that numbers are not dimension are not part of the dimensions okay so we don't consider the numbers so in this case you are going to say m v squared equal to m v naught squared plus mjh so your main target here is simply to ensure that at least what is this side and what is this side are equal but then we know that the dimensions of mass, what are the dimensions of mass? The dimensions of mass, it is simply a big letter M. It doesn't change. It's just, you just use a big letter. Because when we're denoting dimensions, we use big letters. So this is going to be a big letter M. Now, what are the dimensions of velocity uh, squared? The dimensions of velocity squared, it is simply... L over T, then everything to the power 2, like this. Then this is going to equal to the dimensions of mass, big letter M, just big letter M like this. And then the dimensions of uh, velocity is just uh, L over T, then to the power 2, like this. Plus the root of, now what are the dimensions of Mass, the dimensions of mass, uh, we had already stated, it is just big letter M. What are the dimensions of this guy here? The dimensions of this guy here, it is just a L over T squared. Then what are the dimensions of this? It's just big letter M, like this. Okay. So now, when we reach at uh, uh, this stage, what exactly... Uh, are we supposed to do actually this is this is uh, supposed to be this is supposed to be uh, 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 length it's supposed to be length since it is height so here we're supposed to put a big letter L like this because this is the height remember height or length it is just big letter L but then we can write this and this is just the same as L squared over T squared equal to, now this is M, then L squared over T squared like this. I know you, you people, you are able to uh, 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 see that this is the right way to go about it. Now, this and this, if we multiply, it's going to be the square root of M, then L squared and over t like this but then remember that in mathematics this concept can hold let me just write this this concept can hold we can square root this so that we remain with the square root of m then l outside then t outside now if you check here you discover that what we have this side and what we have this side are two different things. Therefore, this formula is not dimensionally correct. So you can say, therefore, it is not dimensionally correct. So it's just about dimensional analysis. We're just trying to prove whether a formula holds. If the formula is correct, 
or if the formula is not correct. We have this question here. They are saying v is equal to the velocity is equal to the velocity naught plus a t squared. Now, what are the dimensions of velocity? We know that the dimensions of velocity are just l over t equal to this is just l over t. Now, plus what are the, what are the dimensions of acceleration? Let me let me uh, uh, rewind you back. Remember, do, don't you forget this particular concept? Don't forget this particular concept. You can know the dimensions of a particular uh, uh, quantity by simply using its units. So acceleration is equal to the units are simply meters per second squared. I told you that when you have height or you, you, you have length, we use the units meters. And meters signify some length. So it's going to be L over the, the, uh, the second. This is just T, right? T, big letter T. Because you know that that is the time for the period. So big letter T squared. Therefore, the dimensions of acceleration are just L over T squared. Now, what are the dimensions of time? I think we had stated in the first place that time has the dimensions of just a big letter T. Just like that. Okay? We use a big letter T for time, right? For period time. So this is multiplying big letter T like this. I can cancel this. I can cancel this. And I'm going to remain with a T over, sorry, a L over T equal to L over T then plus L. But then, if you are able to see, are you telling me that what is this side and this side are equal? No. Why? Because we have an L here and we don't have a T down there. Therefore, we can say that this is not dimensionally Correct. So dimensional analysis is just all about proving that a particular formula that you are given in physics is able to hold. It it must be true. Physics is interesting, and the interesting part is that you can prove something, and that thing must hold. It must be true. So we have proved these formulas, and for sure. We have discovered that some formulas were able to hold and some formulas were not able to hold. So, just know uh, 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 the dimensions, know how to come up with those dimensions using units, whichever concept that you can use. You can use the units to come up with uh, 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 a particular statement signifying whether a particular formula holds, or you may just use these particular dimensions. And then you'll be able to find the formula that you, uh, sorry, the, 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 you are able to find the answer that you want to find. So please, uh, if, uh, uh, make sure that you, 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 you follow me on, on YouTube, you, you, you subscribe, you also share to your friends, so that uh, whatever I'm going to update you guys here on my YouTube channel, you'll be able to catch up with it. So... Uh, 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 my next topic is uh, loading soon and I'll be able to uh, post the video uh, very soon from now. I might start kinematics. Uh, 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 we might be solving some difficult problems in physics. Uh, 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 questions that usually come especially in the exam. So whichever university you are at or you are in college, please just uh, make sure that you subscribe and you follow this YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So don't forget, my line is just, uh, this is the same line which is on WhatsApp, 0, uh, 777, 66, 40, 46, this particular line here. So you can text me when you try this question here, try it out, and see if it's dimensionally correct. Let me just try to put some other uh, question here. I want you to prove that surely this is able to hold. Please prove this, prove that it's able to hold. So I'm going to give it two marks as well. So you send me the questions on WhatsApp. 
Thank you so much. Thank you.